Hello, and thank you for watching this educational video on Andon's use for visualization and Parker's new PFD. With the rise of competitive pressure from an ever-growing global economy, companies are asking themselves what can be done to differentiate themselves from their competition. One answer has been to streamline the value streams, which make a business profitable. Using an Andon display, companies are able to discern whether or not they are ahead or behind expectations and make adjustments in real time. Examples could range from manufacturing sales to customer service phone call tracking to energy production. Using an Andon to monitor business conditions such as OEE could enable a company to rate one value stream or production sale relative to another and help to indicate what internal processes could be improved, ultimately impacting your company's bottom line. OEE, simply stated, stands for Overall Equipment Effectiveness. It is a means of quantifying or grading a particular value stream's ability to produce a valuable good. Three different measures are often rolled up to arrive at the total OEE value. These measures are availability, performance, and quality. Availability is the ratio between the theoretical available time relative to the scheduled time to operate, often called uptime. A reduction in available time indicates a downtime loss. Downtime losses can be attributed to the result of a breakdown or can come from process idle time while an operator waits for parts or takes longer than normal to set up the machine. The second metric evaluated in the OEE calculation is performance. Performance is a measure of how quickly a work cell or machine can produce goods relative to how long it should take the machine or cell. As performance drops, this indicates a speed loss. Speed losses generally indicate a process holdup from a jam, an obstruction, or that it might be time for some productive maintenance on your equipment. It might also indicate an operator requires further training on the equipment. The last metric graded is quality. Quality is a measure of good parts produced relative to the total number of parts started. Quality losses generally result from goods not meeting specification. These goods then either fall under rework, redo, or are considered scrap. Once you've developed a means of calculating each of these metrics, which apply to your processes, OEE is simply calculated by multiplying these three metrics together to arrive at a final percentage. Typical OEE values vary in value and generally do not exceed 80 to 85%. Now, let's review some application examples of customers currently using Parker's PFD. In an application at a stamping plant, a customer is currently using the PFD as an Andon visualization to display production information in real time. This customer gravitated toward the PFD for its easy to use, intuitive development software, which allowed them flexibility in the development of their application. The built-in web server allows this customer to monitor production information anywhere, allowing them to react to issues as they arise and capture those events digitally. The PFD also created a bridge between data captured on a database and information captured from their PLC. The PFD is currently being used at a manufacturing facility for automotive parts. This customer initially approached Parker looking for an automated solution that would help several groups get on the same page. Integrating the PFD allowed this customer to have accurate, easy to access data at the fingertips of their production, operation, and scheduling groups. This enables this customer to work at peak efficiency to meet their customers' high demands. Since implementing the PFD, this manufacturer has empowered its employees to spot problems that arise during production and make adjustments immediately.
to recover what would have previously resulted in lost production. At a food processing plant, a PFD was installed to display production metrics including faults, reasons for stops, and lean data. The PFD was an easy migration path to accomplishing this due to its seamless integration with their existing control architecture. This customer also took advantage of the web publishing feature to notify management in the event of prolonged stops. Now, let's see some of the features of the Parker Factory display. Parker's PFD comes loaded with an extensive list of graphics, panel tools, and templates to help you produce an attractive display. Each panel is completely user configurable and customizable and allows for direct importation of images, video contents, and critical plant data. You can access the PFD's project design locally by connecting directly into the unit itself, remotely via its integrated web server, or from a separate PC loaded with the free development software. There are six layers of user security integrated into the PFD, so rest assured your information will remain secure. Parker does not charge a fee per tag, per device, or per screen developed. Parker's PFD has over 40 communication drivers available to you at no additional cost, which will give you access to a host of PLC and motion control device manufacturers. With the release of 3.0, Parker's PFD now allows you to read data captured from databases via its ODBC driver, allowing the user to connect into Excel, Access, or FTP sites. Also, two Ethernet ports are available to allow easy separation between office and plant networks. An iOS-compatible app will be available for download to your smartphone or tablet. This will give you the ability to monitor your PFD from your mobile device. Be sure to visit parkermotion.com for more information on the PFD and other motion control products.